brotherly scraps. All right, good morning everyone. Uh, so, uh, just arrived at the farm, uh, driving through the main gate, and uh, today I am going to be taking George and Yame out for an enrichment walk. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> Just release George and Yame into a big walking area, big enrichment area, it's about 50 hectares um, and uh, as you can see they absolutely go bananas <laughs> rolling around and you know marking the trees and just sniffing new smells and they're very vocal you can hear them, now they've walked up to the far 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 north and they're just uh, saying hello to Bongani and Suja Oh. He's a my boy. <laughs> He's a my boy. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Where are we going? Eh? Let's go that way. Let's go. No, no, don't flop down. Georgie, don't flop down. We need to start walking. Come, big boy. Yeah, look at you, hey? Strutting your stuff. Stretching your stuff. <laughs> yeah, you enjoying yourself, eh? Okay, let's go. Yummy! You can't do that, my boy. Sticking noses on my cameras. Yummy! <laughs> They're full of it. Full of it. Yeah, come. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Ooh, puffing his stuff. Okay, let's go away from here, boys. I think those two are annoying you. Come. Keep, keep. <clears throat> Brotherly scraps. Call them love scraps. Not sure. Come. Hello boy. No oh, wait. <laughs> You're in Nutter. Off you go. There we go. Yame in walk mode. George will figure it out. Hello boy. Just quickly on George, he had that ingrown uh, nail, it was basically his equivalent to the index finger um, and that had grown into the paw pad, not too deep, but uh, I noticed that when I got back from um, vacation and so we called out called out Dr. Caldwell and uh, got that done <laughs> and as you can see George is full of beans full of beans nothing wrong
and so is yame. Nothing wrong with yame uh, health-wise. Yame is as strong as an ox, so all good there. Okay, and George, instantly recognizable, guys. Um, if you had to see him walking in the bush, and that's because of his strange gait, and that's because of his Achilles tendons that are completely slackened off because the calcaneus bone is uh, collapsed. Whereas you can see how Yame walks, there's no calcification and uh, yeah he's got very well developed hamstrings you can see his hamstrings and his quads uh, just as you would expect for a healthy 10 year old lion hello my boy okay dating my lens again i think he likes his new yummy i think he likes his yummy top i think it's quite nice what do you guys think yummy good photo of him Oh! Okay, let's go. Wow, you can see. Oh, let me just try and get a better look here. You can see how well developed uh, Yame's hamstrings are. Actually, like a ball. So well developed. And we'll have a look at George in a second. He's totally under underdeveloped. A uh, lot also on his quads so you know he's lacking a lot of muscle quality on the hind quarters and that causes him to walk funny um, in turn causes arthritis bone on bone calcification um, malalignment <laughs> claws to grow funny all of these things caused by caused by bad diet all in all just a bad diet in the formative years of his life or the formative months he was um, just to recap George and Yame um, basically arrived here at the sanctuary at about six months of age um, just under so if I recall correctly that was around about 2014 because they've just turned 10 or they're turning 10 i think they're just turning 10 coming up big boy's birthday is 10 years old i can't believe it that's right and guys yeah so george and yummy came from spain they were apparently smuggled um to spain from a circus in in uh, france um, so goodness knows where their parents came from but they were confiscated and then an organization was looking to uh, bring them to South Africa and as one did back in the day 2014 I'm talking 10 years ago me I was still along a, a path of wanting to rescue and I thought if I can rescue young lions like George and Yami I can give them a good quality of life and yeah look 10 years down the line I think we have given them a good quality of life I think I often wonder where George and Yami would have landed up what would have been their life if they landed up at another facility would it have been one of those facilities where they basically say hello guys here's your camp for the rest of your life enjoy good luck we are going you know hands off and uh, I think one of the reasons 
No, 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 wait. Yum. Yummy. <laughs> One of the reasons uh, CJ and Lewis wanted George and Yama to come here was because of my hands-on activities with the animals. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do like and share. And guys, yeah, I must just give a big shout out, a huge shout out to all the, the members of Line Whisperer TV. We call them our pride members. You guys are literally part of the pride and the reason why this channel still uh, persists to this day. Um, obviously in this day and age it's actually quite a costly affair making videos so um, yeah your members really uh, help in keeping this channel alive and uh, keeping the content free for the core members uh, but you guys do get uh, some special perks and exclusive videos um, and uh, based on the feedback I know you guys are really loving them and we do try and get you all your requests and um, we'll continue to try and make you some really awesome content so thank you members uh, guys yeah, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, and all that's left to say is until next time from me Kevin and all the beautiful lions here at the sanctuary bye